Welcome back to Tactical Pontoon. Just gonna do kind of a quick informational video on the Nomad Defense trigger block housing. Now, Nomad Defense, you may or may not know as the company that builds the very ergonomically designed Glock 19 and Glock 17 frames. Uh, if you've been around my channel at all or any of my work, you know that I've been using the Nomad frames for quite a while. I was actually in one of their first uh, SHOT Show events. I had a couple triggers that I built for them back then, and I've just been in contact and in touch with those guys uh, for a while. So when they came out with their trigger block housing and their lower parts kit, I've just been a part of it since then. Uh, in the last year or so, I've been using their trigger block housing in place of the factory trigger block housings. This came around really in 2021, late 2020, when Glock parts were pretty much impossible to find. It's still here in 2022, very hard to find a good supply of Glock, factory Glock parts, whether it's trigger bars, trigger block housings, connectors, that sort of thing. So with Nomad basically stepping up and creating a worthy trigger block housing, it was just kind of a no brainer to switch over to these. Now, I don't use the Nomad housing for a couple of my systems, mainly being the Leonidas and the Vader when it comes to, uh, there, there are a couple reasons why and I'll, I'll go over that. First up, the Nomad trigger block housing is a hybrid housing. It looks like it looks like a generation four, and for the most part, it acts like a generation four. And they went this direction because their frame is basically a generation four frame, which is different in the market compared to like a Polymer 80, Lone Wolf, Combat Armory, any of that sort of thing. So. Obviously, they went with a Gen 4, and if you've been around the Glock platform long enough, you know that you can take a Generation 4 housing and use it in a Polymer 80 or a Generation 3 by cutting off the bottom of these ears. And you may notice that this actually has a quick reference guide as to where to chop this, this trigger block off to make it fit in a Generation 3. So I use it for generation three, polymer 80, generation four, technically, because as I said, it is a hybrid, you could use it in a generation five. And I've talked to them about this. I've used it in generation five in my shop. I've not had any real issues. I've taken one of the springs from a generation five spring assembly and I've used it without any issues. Andy over there at Nomad said that they were running into a few little things, and I will be honest, I've not done enough testing to replicate any issues with these. So technically, this is a hybrid of generation three through generation five. If you have one of these spring assemblies, you can use it in there. It also runs a generation five style ejector, which is an upgrade from the old 336 ejector. Again, your mileage may vary because some people, including myself and some builds, do not have an issue with the 336, but it's kind of a common deal to upgrade to the newer style ejector. So this is a benefit to the Nomad trigger block housing. Uh, Something more along the lines of the things I do and why I don't use it for the Leonidas system. It is a softer polymer than the factory stuff. Now, for most purposes, this does not make a difference. However, because of the modifications that I do for a Leonidas, these just don't work as well. But really for all intents and purposes for you guys out there that are running an excommunicado or building your own system. This is an excellent 
excellent alternative. It fits really well. It does not change the um, dimensions or any of the angles or any of that sort of thing. It works like a factory one and I highly recommend it. And that is the reason why when factory parts just became so scarce and so expensive that they pretty much took themselves off the market in my arena, I went to the Nomad and I've been very, very happy with them. I have them listed on the website. If you are looking to build your own trigger system or you need a replacement, you're building a Polymer 80, I highly recommend them. And I use them. There it is, the po the, not the Polymer 80, the Nomad Defense trigger block housing. It's a hybrid. You can use it in generation one through generation four. Technically you can use it in generation five and I will do an updated video. I will do more testing so that I can verify that generation five is good to go. Like I said, in-house I've used it in generation five and it works really well. I will update this just in case you need to know because as you may or may not be aware, generation five parts are very hard to find. Trigger bars, trigger block housings. Now, currently in all of my genera in all of my generation five, excommunicado, Vader, um, anything that's generation five, I do use factory housings in, in all of those currently. However, if I can switch to this at a later uh, time, or maybe they do an update to their housing, we'll look at doing that. So for now, Generation one through four, these are good to go. I highly recommend them and I use them in all of my trigger systems. So that's it. That's a quick, uh, quick little informational video on a part that is out there, a part that I offer on my website and a part that I personally use. Some information that you can use for when you're uh, creating your own trigger system or building or replacing parts. All right, that's it. That's it for now. We will catch you next time on Tactical Pontoon. Until then, be worthy.